Hello, it's Nemo, and welcome back to Tea Time Tuesday, where I'm just here to sip the tea in my Rad Dad mug that my friend had gotten me. And today I'm drinking some Thai, well, some Thai tea, some chai tea um, from Tivana. Well, at least the tea packets from Tivana. And obviously, I'm not sponsored because my channel is way too small. It's not bad though. Tea is pretty fragrant, I like it. It smells really nice, the aroma is really nice. Um, it's not like super strong tea. Um, it tastes like, it's pretty nice tea. It's like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. I'm not a very, I'm not like a tea connoisseur or anything. I just kind of drink a lot of tea. Um, my rad dad muck that one of my friends got me. And also, I guess I upgraded from being a rad dad because my other friend got me a nameplate that says super dad. And I guess it's because I'm like super caring or something like that. But, you know, I'm not a real dad. I don't have any kids. So I don't know why people call me dad. I don't even dress like a dad. So. Oh well. Well, today's Tea Time Tuesday is about us just living life. And as you know, we're all alive. At least if you're watching this video, I'm sure and I hope that you're alive. But we're born and we're dependent on anyone who takes care of us, whether it's our parents, foster parents, just guardians, I don't know. Um, but you know, all I do know is that we can't physically take care of ourselves. We're too small and weak. We can't even walk when we're born, you know, we're just, we can barely even see that far or if at all. Um, and on top of that, you never know. There's illnesses in this world that can just take us out like that. Whether it's physical, mental, uh, you know, we're old and like our bodies are deteriorating. You know, all that stuff is a part of life. All right, but then we grow older, like, you know, life goes on, whether we struggle or we don't. We're all living differently, but the same life because we're just trying to stay alive. And that's what life is, is us just trying to stay alive the best as possible. And if you can't take care of yourself, if you're not being taken care of, you're not surviving, it's hard. And the world we live in now, we live in like this capitalistic life style society, you know? If you don't have money, you can't buy food, you can't buy clothing, you can't buy a whole bunch of stuff. And, I mean, we could make any of the above ourselves, except for the money part, because that's, like, the government thing, whatever. But, like, you know, food, unless you farm or raise your own crops, like, how are you going to eat? Clothes, unless you have all this fabric and stuff, like, how are you going to make your own clothes? Um, you know, how are you going to get around? Cars, dude, horses, I don't know, walk, run, you know fly, take a boat, all of that stuff, you know, we can't really do without if we want to go long distances. Um, short distance, you can walk from like, you know, here to your bathroom or something, you never know. <laughs> but you know, we're all born into this life and we're all just trying to survive. Like we just want, not even just surviving, we just want to have fun too. We want to enjoy life. We don't want to stress out because, you know, all this pain, stress, emotional stress, pains, all that stuff can affect you physically. And you know, when you're, when you hurt physically, you don't enjoy life as much. You know, I think life is kind of like paper, right? If you have paper and you leave it outside where, you know, whether you live in like a really rainy environment or a really dry environment, paper kind of will be affected in different ways. But if you just leave it outside, the weather is going to get to it and the paper is just going to deteriorate or maybe catch on fire if you live in the desert because it's just going to dry out and then the sun or something is going to like make it burst into flames. Um, if it's hot enough at least or if that like reflection of glass or rain or something just beams onto that paper and it catches on fire and whatnot. And then you got a forest fire or something. I don't know. But if you leave paper inside or in a book or you store it in some place like that's 
in a good climate or conditions for it. It's going to last a whole lot longer than if you just crumble it up and toss it outside. You know, paper is kind of like life in some way, or at least you can use that analogy. I mean, paper is like dead trees, but like, that's not what I'm really getting at. I just mean the paper itself. And then there's like, there's also like some people where they kind of like bring other people down. Like, man, we're just trying to enjoy life. Like, why you gotta bring me down? Um, it's tragic, really. It's sad that some people just kind of do that. Like, and they enjoy doing that. Like, dude, I'm trying to like enjoy my life. Why do you have to like destroy mine just to make yours feel better? Life is hard, though. I'm sure you guys can agree, but you know, at the end of life, we just kind of, you know, perish, like paper, you know? So it's just like, you know, even if you have like great conditions, right? Like that paper that you have stored away in some nice, like great conditions for paper, you don't know, in like a cool, dry kind of area, climate controlled or something like that, and in a drawer somewhere, and that paper is just chilling in its like own little environment, you know, all of a sudden, I don't know, maybe a flood happens or like the house like comes into flames, bursts into flames or whatever. It's like now the paper is gone. It's kind of like life, whether you're inside and you think you're safe or you're just like outside in the severe weather or something like that, you know, the paper can just be destroyed and then, you know, that's the end of it, our life. I don't know where I was going with this analogy, but you know, there's a whole life cycle of us being born into life and then the end of it. So there's that. Um, we're all just trying to live life and be happy. And everyone has different experiences. We're born in different places, in different like environments. And we all just want to make the best out of it. And especially in this world we live in, there's so much to just think about and try to take care of that it's just stressful sometimes. And, you know, sometimes maybe just like take a step back, sit down and just enjoy some tea will kind of like ease your mind a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Tea Time Tuesday. Um, remember, like, you know, if you need to chill, just Brew a cup of tea or something and just take a sip. Because the cycle of life is just life itself. It's like it starts and it ends. But as always, guys, you know, from your heart, take care of yourself, take care of others, spread love and peace.